Hi everybody, this is Manny from Manny's Book Bag, and we're coming back with another Reprice It tutorial. What we're going to discuss today is all about template order. Now, one of the things that I'm going to assume at this point is that you've all already developed some templates that you're very comfortable with. Now, what template order is going to do is take your repricing strategy to the next level based on those specific templates. What I have done here is created a scenario to walk you through involving these 10 templates. They are stacked in a specific order so that I can show you just a couple of tricks that you can do. Now, as I said, you should already have templates that are in place. And starting from the very top, the first thing that I want to tell you folks, and I absolutely do this, is that aged inventory templates are absolutely king and queen right now. The way that template order works is that when you reprice it now, it will take your templates and reprice them from a top to bottom scenario. So the first template that I've got is a template that is going to reprice all of my inventory from one year old all the way up to three years plus. So anything over a year old, this template is going to reprice. The second template is going to reprice everything from six months to a year. So these two templates, they never really collide. But what they are is first and second. Anything at all that is over a year old is going to be captured by this template here. Anything that is over six months but under a year is going to be captured by this template. Now you may ask yourself, does it matter at all if this one is in the one spot or if this one is in the one spot? And in this case, no. Uh, they take an exact same action, which they're both based on aged inventory. And this one can't see anything over a year anyway. This one can't see anything under a year. So this one would still act the same way regardless because they are like templates. Now, if I was to put other templates that are maybe based on price or based on added SKUs ahead of these, then that would make a difference because these items, if they were over a year, but they were in the one spot, would not be subject to the rules of this template. And that's really what you need to understand first and foremost about template order. In this case, this may not matter which was one and two, but let's move on past the aged inventory. The third template is a SKU added template and it specifically targets, in this case, the luggage category. I have a SKU, proved, SKU prefix for uh, luggage as an example. That is in the three spot, which means that after the aged inventory is done in the session and it moves on to the next template, luggage is going to happen next. It's going to reprice all of the items with the luggage SKU prefix. When the luggage SKU prefix is all done, it's going to move on and it's going to start doing some of the basic price ranges. Now, let's say theoretically that I had a piece of luggage that was priced at $8. This template right here is not going to see that. The reason is luggage was already repriced up here. So essentially what template order does is that when this one is done repricing all the luggage, that inventory is now off the table and nothing, no other template that comes after it will be able to reprice the same items a second time. That's just how the template works. Each one thins out your inventory all the way down to the bottom one which will see the least amount of inventory. So let's move on. The luggage template is all done repricing. Now we start doing uh, price ranges. Now these price ranges once again they're not going to bump into one another because the price ranges are entered here. So the $7.99 template cannot see 
the items in the $50 base range, the $35 base range, the $25 base range, these are all going to be independent. And until we go further down the stack, these are like templates. And these, they don't matter in what order they get put in. What will matter is as we go down further. Now a neat little trick is what comes after these initial price ranges. As we get to the template that is in order number eight, you'll see that it is a SKU added template and it is specifically for the shoe category. Now I've created a scenario where my shoes are all going to be repriced a certain way but shoes that are priced between $9.99 and $24.99 are going to be priced a completely different way. Now you may ask yourself why because one of the things that you need to remember is when you have a SKU added template you are not allowed to enter any template criteria here. It simply does not allow you to uh, slice your inventory up any finer than that. But that's the beauty of the template order. You can trick it into doing whatever it is you want if it doesn't conflict with other templates. So let's go down the line. Let's, let's keep shoes in mind. Any aged shoes would be repriced here. This is a SKU added template, so you need not apply. Any shoes between $7.99 and $9.98, $50 all the way up to $100, $35 to $49.99, $25 to $34.99. These are all going to be repriced according to these rules. Now take a look at where the shoe category was placed. What has not repriced yet? The $14.99 to $24.99 template still falls below that one. And the $9.99 to $14.98 template still has not been repriced. What this means is that this particular template is still going to see any items that are priced between $9.99 and $24.99. So essentially what I've done is I've excluded the very inexpensive and the very expensive items from this particular template but I've included the bread and butter in the middle so that's a great way of making sure that your really expensive items are priced differently but at the same time your stuff in the center still falls in line with a basic template such as this and then lastly I've got my $14.99 and my $9.99 templates down here which will basically reprice anything in those categories that is not aged that is not luggage and that is not shoes. So books, CDs, DVDs, vinyl, that would still get repriced here at the end. Now the template order is very driven by repricing all templates at once. It's very important that when you create your template schedules that you always have them repricing all templates at once. If at any point you come back to your templates and you reprice any of these templates individually, you're going to lose all benefits of the template order. So if I was to come in here and I was to reprice it now shoes, it would reprice all items that have the shoe SKU prefix that I added, including the stuff that it's not supposed to typically when I have all templates uh, repricing at once. So just keep that in mind that if you reprice any items individually, you are losing all benefits of the template order and the stack that you've created. I really hope that was helpful. I hope that breaks it down for you pretty easily. And of course, if you have any questions, please make sure you comment below. Uh, please hit the like button. Please teach the uh, subscribe button a lesson uh, just to support the channel. And I will talk to you soon.